What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be giving my game day report for the Dolphins um, game against the Jets today. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to stream later. Um, I'm going to do what I did last week and try to just stream at halftime and then a little bit after the game rather than stream the whole game. I, th I think that worked out better. So, uh, I think that's what we're going to we're gonna try for. Um... So, looking at transactions before we uh, get into the injury report, because we did make a couple moves this week. Um, we have placed Greg Little on injury reserve. I didn't even realize he was injured. Um, we have let go of Shedrick Redwine, whatever. Um, then we signed Andrew Billings, who's a pretty decent uh, nose tackle, uh, to the practice squad. And then we let go of Jabal Sheard, so that's a thing. Um... We brought Jamal Perry up to the active roster. He's kind of come in and out this year, um, just through different matchups. Uh, we also put uh, Kobe Jones and uh, Jake Luton on our practice squad and let go of, um, oh, I guess we brought Shendrick Redwine back to the practice squad. Okay. And we let go of Jake as well. Um, I do prefer uh, Jake Luton. Over uh, Jake Dolagala, whatever, however you pronounce that. Um, so Jake has a pretty pretty decent arm, um, but his mental processing definitely needs to improve, and he's not really much of an athlete. Um, but I do prefer him over uh, Jake Dolagala. So um, at least a little bit better depth at quarterback. So th it, that's a thing. So whatever. Um, <clears throat> so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and go to the injury report real quick. So Christian Wilkins is listed as uh, questionable. I kind of expect him to probably play. Um, I mean, we'll have to see. There'll be another um, report like right before the game. Um, <clears throat> just like there usually is, but Hopefully he can go. Same thing with Andrew Van Ginkle. They're probably going to be more so game time decisions. So that is what that is. Um, Elijah Barrett Tucker is questionable. Same thing with Nathan Shepard. Um, <clears throat> even if Barrett Tucker does play, their O-line isn't that good. Um, Zach Wilson isn't going to play. They have already said that um, Joe Flacco is actually going to be getting the start today. So, that's the thing. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's killing me. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the depth charts a little bit. I mean, not much will really change with ours. But, um, like I said, Jamal Perry has been put onto the active roster. Noah probably won't be active. I mean, it, it just is what it is at this point. Uh, he's never active. Um, we do have Darius Hodge on the active roster right now. He's an edge that we picked up last week. Um, so if Van Ginkle doesn't play, we might actually end up seeing him play a little bit. Uh, if not, it'll probably be mostly Phillips and Scarlett um, getting the snaps at edge. And, of course, Agba. So that that could be a thing. Um and, of course, if Christian Wilkins doesn't go, uh, we got John Jenkins, who hopefully will be active today, and uh, Sealer and Butler. So we're we're pretty good on the D-tackle front, but definitely our defense is better with Christian Wilkins. Like I said, I know a lot of fans are frustrated with him because they don't watch film. Um, but he is a very, very good player and eats up blocks like a motherfucker. So it, it is what it is. They can be mad if they want to. So uh, Let's go ahead and take a look at the Jets. Like I said... Joe Flacco has been announced as the starter, at least for this week. Um, so, that's a thing for us. I think we can definitely beat uh, Joe Flacco. I mean, this offensive line is pretty bad. So, I think we can definitely get some pressure on, on Joe. And as we know, Joe isn't really that mobile. He never really was, and he definitely isn't now uh, at this point in his career. Um, so I think if we really pressure him 
you can definitely make Joe Flacco make some terrible decisions, and hopefully we can get some turnovers off that shit too. Um, as far as their weapons go, Michael Carter is absolutely dangerous. Ty Johnson can hurt you, and so can Tevin Coleman. And even the Michael Perrine isn't terrible either. Um, we already know that Corey Davis and Jamison Crowder can go. Keelan Cole is okay. And Elijah Moore is a rookie receiver. Um, I do have a video on him. He's probably going to be mostly a slot guy. Uh, he is an okay route runner, but he really makes babies with uh, with the yak stuff. So uh, we're going to have to try to keep him at bay as well. Um, try to keep him kind of corralled. But I'm not really scared of any of these receivers. Um, the, bi the big thing is Michael Carter. I do have a ro I do have a video on him too. He is also a rookie this year. Uh, he was my fourth um, best running back in this past draft class. I'm a, I was a big fan of Michael Carter. I was a big fan of both North Carolina guys, to be honest with you. So, uh, yeah. Um... As far as defense goes, like I said, they do run a 4-3 defense now, um, which is kind of interesting for the Jets after playing a 3-4 uh, versus O-Long. Um, but Sheldon Rankins and Quinta Williams are absolutely threats at uh, defensive tackle. Um, John Franklin Myers is kind of whatever. But uh, Shaq Lawson, I mean, he was here last year, and we know that Shaq Lawson can hurt you. Like, he's a pretty solid edge rusher. So, that's a thing. Um, Deshaun Phillips, he's whatever. C.J. Mosley might not be what he was, but he's still a decent linebacker. Quincy Williams can hurt you. Uh, Hamza Nazerladeen, if he gets snaps, uh, I preferred him as a safety, but he can definitely play some little linebacker for you. If you just play him at little linebacker, you're using him wrong. <laughs> you should move him around. And use him in different um, different setups, and I think he can give you a lot of different things. Um, but you know, Jets are gonna do Jets things, so it is what it is. Um, yeah, nothing really crazy with their defensive backs. I think we can torch all these guys. Um, I think as long as we can get rid of the ball pretty quick, there's nothing really that scary in their defensive back core, to be quite honest with you. Um, it's mostly uh, the interior. Our, um, we're going to have our work cut out for us as far as blocking their defensive tackles go. So uh, that that's going to be the biggest threat to our team just because of how bad our offensive line is. So um, like I said last week and I've been saying, um, I like what the Dallas Cowboys have been doing. By bringing in a guard and putting them at fullback. I think that's really cool. Um, I think that would be a really good time to do that. I think bringing like Robert Jones in at fullback. That way he can, you know, kind of help block on the interior. Uh, he can kind of move forward and, you know, combo block with whoever's struggling. Um, I think that's something that could be really good to see. Um, but we'll we'll kind of see if they actually do anything like that. Probably not. I just think it could really help. Um, I'm, I mean, not every snap or anything like that, but I think it would help in pass protection. And, you know, if we really got to try to get some sort of push, um, I, I think that could really help. Because, I mean, I don't want to have to throw the football 90% of the time. That's just not good for your health. That's, that's how they tee off on your quarterback, so... Um, but anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.